negativity. Oh yeah, totally. Like I'm not trying to stay comfortable doing this. So you, do you participate? See or anticipate yourself interacting with people more? Like in, in yeah, somewhere that I'm that's foreign to me. So you and I are interacting right now. So do you have yeah. any kind of uh, ideas that we can do right now? Uh, yeah, you want to paint? Is yeah, that what you're asking me. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. Let's That'd do awesome. this one because I don't like this one. What color do you want to use? Um, let's see. Well, I think we would need a canvas, right? Do we have a canvas? But okay, let's uh, do let's, a blank let's, one. Yeah, let's do a blank one. And then if anything bleeds over the other one, it'll part, be part Sweet. of the process. It uh, resonates with everyone, right? It's called the logarithmic curve. Uh, the logarithmic no, curve. <laughs> okay. So this is based off of the golden ratio, right? A lot of the work I do. Oh, the Fibonacci sequence. Everything, everything that we view is based off of that, right? So let's try to give people a chance to see what's going on. So usually if the work abides by a certain mathematical structure, your eyes, just as your ears hum, sound, uh, hear music, they see something that is intact. They hear something that is on key, right? Yeah. You can tell if someone's singing off. Same way you can tell if something's disproportioned in a painting, right? So a lot of what we see in nature, the way it looks so miraculously beautiful, like a flower or, you know, the sky, everything's based off of a certain mathematical sequence, the way we hear, the way we see, uh, the way we think, even. Um, so, so based off of that, how we approach a two-dimensional picture plane is to divide in, in under a minute in under a minute is to do find the direct center and how we do that is you go from one corner to one corner to the other corner from the other corner okay. and from there you find the direct center nice so from there you can divide it into quadrants so you got one two three four Sick. and from there you break it up infinitely See, so now you have. This is working pretty well. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And you just can keep doing that over and over and over. So all of the all of the old master paintings you see in museums and you know, the reason why paintings stand the test of time since the old ages is because they abide by these basic fundamental principles that we all can respond to and there's it's never going away Not as long as we live so at some point it'll register as beautiful to somebody right yeah but it looks like shit to me <laughs> <laughs> you said we have under a minute well now we're probably coming real close We'll add, we'll add 30 more seconds to the clock because you found the, uh, the white piece. Oh, this is pretty cool looking. Most of my work is... Uh, <clears throat> Based off of my self-portrait, because I'm such a egomaniac. <laughs> oh yeah, we can clearly see. <laughs> but, He's the uh, most humble egomaniac I've ever seen. But yeah, I think essentially everyone paints themselves in some way at some point. Whenever they approach a painting, like Picasso says, uh, <clears throat> every portrait is a portrait of the artist, right? Yeah. First. So voila, you want to sign it and say you painted it? Because I'm not taking credit for that. <laughs> All right. How do you like my work, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Adam Enrique Rodriguez.